it's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. well, it is three o'clock in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are we looking straight out of the light? Yeah, well, you're looking at the light. You gotta turn around so that the light's behind. Okay. You see the messy hallway? It's three o'clock in the morning. Sunday. Sunday, June 12th. And I am about to embark on a journey. It's the most important day. It's, well, it's a very important day. It's not yeah. the most important day. Well, we've been looking forward to this for quite we some have. time. We've been looking forward to this for a very long time. We've you, been, what? You have a thumbprint on your glasses. Oh, probably. Go ahead. We decided we were going to get a new puppy. And we've been waiting for months. And we got a surprise call a few weeks ago that there was a puppy left in the litter. And we were next on the list. So I'm headed to... Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Western Pennsylvania. Something like that. I gotta land in Philadelphia and drive an hour. Philly or Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh. It's three o'clock in the morning. Do you know where you're going? Um, the plane knows where I'm going. That's all that's matter. That's all that matters. Okay. So I'm headed out the door here. I gotta grab my stuff and get to the airport because my flight leaves at 6 a.m. Lands at around noontime. I have four hours to get to the farm, get the puppy, and get back to the airport. And get a rental car and drop it off at the same, same time frame. So uh, it's, tell, a, it's an hour each way. Tell them what kind of puppy it is. It's a Bernice Mountain Dog. Now, you have to show them the carrying case that you got the um, dog. It's behind me. Once it's a puppy. It. Okay. Hey, he's a puppy. So when the breeder called us and told us he would be ready to go soon, he was seven and a half pounds. When she wrote six days later, he was just over 12 pounds. That was oh, just over a week ago. So I'm hoping he is still small enough to fit inside this little cat here. We just we just said goodbye to um, our uh, main coon cat within the last year, very sadly. Um, but we used to, I just wanna put this in perspective. perspective. Our coon cat would not fit in this bag. You, we could not even stuff our coon mm -hmm. cat into this bag. He would not fit. So we're hoping that all he's got to do is be able to turn around. <laughs> That's what the airline says. And I have, this is one of those Delta bags that's guaranteed on board. So this, they can't complain about this carry as long as he can fit in and turn around. So here we go. All right, I'm heading out the door. A little dark, bright light out there. Okay, there you go. Heading out the door. I got my stuff for the dog and I'm going. Wait, well, will show them. Okay. It smells like skunk out here bad. Hey, I'll close the garage door. I love you. Love you too. See you in uh, about 12 hours. No, more than that. Yep. Okay. Love you. Well, I'm headed to the airport. I'm gonna go get our puppy. Just pulling on the driveway. It's still dark, so you can't really see me very well, but. Uh, Headed to Portland, get on the airport, oh, sorry, get on the plane, head to Pennsylvania, and we're going to pick up little Tico, that's his name, I've already named him. So we're on our way to come get you, Tico, I'll see you soon. I just got to the airport, <clears throat> I'm parked, right back there. So I can get out really easily. I don't have to deal with traffic. Straight shot to the exit. I have the bag. That's the uh, that's the airport kennel for the for the puppy. I am heading to gate E55, which is the last flight headed to Pittsburgh, and that's my final destination, uh, my interim destination. Driving from there to the Breeders Farm, picking up Tico, and then heading back to Pittsburgh uh, on the airplane. Getting excited. The time is almost here. We just got off the plane. It is 11:30, and it turns out my first return flight. Try to figure where I'm going. My first leg of the return flight is delayed by half hour and I only had an hour layover to begin with. So I'm hoping I don't get stuck in 
Philadelphia. But we'll see what happens. So I'm trying to find my way out of this place. All right, so I made it to the other side of the terminal. Made it across the entrance for the airport and I am headed down to Enterprise Rental to get my car. It's pretty quick, not too bad getting off the plane and getting to the exit. But now I have an hour drive to get to the farm where the breeder is. I'm starving. Well, I made it to my rental car. A little dark in here. It's a little, uh, I don't know what it is, a little Ford something or other. A little compact SUV, they call it. So I got to plug my phone in if I can find a plug here for USB. And then uh, I got to head out and head to the farm. So I just want to do a quick update. I am about 14 minutes away from the address I am headed to, which is where Tico is. So we are about to meet our boy. Uh, thank you guys for following along with me today. Been a bit of an adventure and I might just be stuck in Pennsylvania for the night, but it is what it is. I'll have to work with American Airlines when I get back to the airport to see if I can get a alternate route or I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to do, but hopefully I can figure it out and get home tonight because I really don't want to spend the night in an airport or in a hotel. So we'll see what happens. Talk to you again in a little bit. He's right there. It's hard to see him because he's in the pen. At the next stop sign, turn right. He's in the... Uh... There he is! What a good boy! Okay, I'm going to zip you up. I don't want you getting out, okay? I don't want you getting hurt. So that's Tico. We got him. I'm on my way back to the airport. i got to figure out what I'm going to do for connectors because um, my flight is delayed for longer than my layover. I have to go to in Philadelphia. He's trying to get out. There he is. You see him? What a good boy, Tico. Yeah. So I got to put the phone down while I'm driving and uh, pay attention to him. Try and keep him in the bag and uh, I'll check in again if I have to stop or once I get to the airport. So talk to you later. What are you doing? Like a boy. You like that better if you get your head out? Tico and I have made it to the check-in desk, the ticketing. We're trying to get a rearranged flight to get home tonight still, so hopefully that'll work out for us. There's Tico. There's Tico. Tico's sleeping. He's a good boy. Tico and I have made it through security. There he is, just chilling. You see him? He's chilling.
Already going, you bent over. I don't know if you peed or not. It's hard to tell. I grass. Did you go? Are you all set? Tico's trying to take a nap. He's trying to keep his face as close to me as possible. He got his chin on the. Um, he got his chin on the <laughs> carrier. He's be talking. He's a little scared still, I think, but he'll be okay. He's doing good. Tico's favorite spot so far, over right there. Uh, I'll just say I'm against my goat for my shirt, but it's him. Tico, you say hi? Oh, I'll say hi. Who's that? It's you. That's Tico. He's adorable. Mr. Man is in the carrier. And it looks like he's actually going to go to sleep. He was sleeping on the floor with him in the carrier because he didn't want to fight with him because with boarding. <coughs> Boarding's going to be starting any minute now, so he's ready to go. Hopefully he'll nap all the way to Philly. We are boarding the plane. Hopefully we'll get out of here at 7.10 like they said and get into Philly. At a decent time, shortly after eight, means I might have a chance of connecting with my flight. That would be awesome. I don't want to go home and go to sleep. Actually, we're on the plane and we see it is hot in here. Hot, very hot. I hope Tico's going to be okay, he's going to be highly. He had some plenty of water though, so hopefully he's good. I'll give him some more water on the way in. No, 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 you gotta stay in there, buddy. Okay. No, you gotta stay there. I'll pet you, but you gotta stay there. Nope, you gotta stay there. What a good boy. We are finally at our hotel room for the night. It's been a long day. I got up at 2.45 this morning. 2.40, something like that. Flew from Portland, Maine to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Drove from there to Mercer to get our puppy. And then <clears throat> drove back to the airport from Mercer and our puppy was not very happy about that car ride. I think it's the first time he's ever been in a car and probably the first time he's ever been away from his family. So it's probably very traumatic for him today, but he was very cuddly and very lovey and um, I think we bonded pretty well today. Uh, he's sleeping on the floor right now, right next to me. <laughs> there he is. Keep going. Hi, are you trying to sleep? Yeah, go, go pee for us. Can you go pee? Come on. Go pee. Go, go pee. Well, it's been less than a day. I'm just laying here because I'm really tired. He's at the end of the bed. I don't know why he's whining, but a little bit. He just came in from going to the bathroom. He's had something to eat. He's had something to drink. We played a little bit. He played with his rope. He's, he's a really good boy. He does like to cuddle. Yeah. So it's been less than a day, and uh, he definitely walks a lot easier on a leash. Hey! He walks a lot easier on a leash when he's in his harness versus in his collar. He really doesn't like just the collar, but he doesn't mind the leash. Hey, what are you doing? Come here. 
Yeah, come over here and cuddle. <laughs> yeah, what a good boy. Yeah, he's cuddling. We need to go back to sleep, buddy. We need to go back to sleep for a little while. Turn this around. Hey. Hey. Tico. Come here. Come here. Oh, come over here with me. You always look so, you look so sad. Don't be sad. Come here. He's silly. He's silly boy. He's silly boy. Oh, so cute. So cute. This is a giddy. He's a little cute. Oh, giddy. Giddy, giddy, giddy. Good boy. <sighs> I know. Let's take a nap, okay? I need to go back to sleep for a little while. Okay. Lights up. I have been trying to sleep since about 4 o'clock in the morning, but Mr. Man has been keeping me up. Every time I would take my eyes off of him, he would start whining. So now, look what Mr. Man is doing now that I'm awake. He is sleeping on the bathroom floor. Yeah, that's what my night's been like. But he's just too cute to be mad at. We are up and we are moving and we are going to the airport. Little oh, Mr. Man is in his little pocket and we're ready to go. All right, we are through security with the pet. So now I gotta find some breakfast and then uh, find the pet relief area so we can go pee. And then we're gonna hit the lounge and hang out there for a little while. And we'll check in again in a little bit. And Mr. Man woke up. It's right there. One more way. I take the stairs, buddy. He just woke up. He has eaten and he's had some water. So we're gonna walk back to the pet relief area and let him use the restroom. I'm gonna have to use one too. And then we'll go hang out in the lounge again and we'll wait for our flight. It's gonna be a while still, but he's been doing good. We're headed to the pet area again. Take him down there about every two hours just to let him pee. And uh, he might have to poop because he might poop this morning. But he's had some more food since then, so we'll see. We'll try and record it this time. I keep forgetting to do that when he's there. So we'll get some video of him here. All those smells, huh, buddy? Yeah, he's smelling all the dogs. Oh boy. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey! What is he? He's a Bernice Mountain Dog. Mind if I pet him? Oh, you pet him. Look, someone wants to pet you. <laughs> His feet might be a little wet. He just came off of the pee area, so. <laughs> Oh, the tail's wagging. The tail's wagging. <laughs> he just woke up from a nap, so now he's full of energy again. Oh, yeah. He's not fresh in about 15 minutes to sleep again for another hour. Oh, my God.
You're on camera again. You're gonna be the star of the show. Are you hungry? Is that way you're staring at the food? Are you hungry? Okay. He's having a snack, He's getting his lunch in. Want some more? Yeah? Want some more? Yeah, you know there's more, don't you? Hold on. Wanna send the video home, Mama? Ready? Hey. What are you doing? You say hi? All right, we're on our last trip to the pet relief area, so Tico can have a bathroom break before we get on the plane. And then we're gonna come back here and get our gate and head home so he can go meet mom. There he is. Here's Tico. What are you doing? Say hello. He's so cute. We have made it back to Maine, finally. Two day trip, not a one day trip, but that's what happens sometimes. So, oh, oh, here we are, just office. getting into Portland. Okay. And little Mr. Man is doing pretty good in his little bag. We're gonna take a little break, give him some water, and let him go pee before we head out to the truck. He's very happy to be able to put his head back out of the bag. And the flight attendant on that flight was a. She's a reass reassess her uh, customer service skills significantly. But anyway, there he is. Little Mr. Man. Hey. Yeah. Run right away out to the truck. Uh, take a little break when I get there. So we can let him. Get some water and go pee and see if he has to hoop yet. We're almost there. Almost home. Come on, somebody. He's definitely a cuddle bug. <laughs> he doesn't like being in a vehicle very much, still, as you can hear. He's just trying to eat his way out of that little hole in the bag. So you gotta be good, buddy. He's got another power to get home, so go calm down. Good boy. Gonna be a fun ride home. Come on, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. You got calmed down. You don't want to get all excited. But we're on our way home. You're okay. I'm gonna sign off now because I can't do this and drive and comfort him. So we're on the final approach. Turning on to our road right now, Tico and me. And I just got notifications that somebody was seen at the door and the garage door open, so that means cat's waiting anxiously to meet you, buddy. Here she is. We're almost home. I am outside right now. I'm waiting for Tony to get home. He had a tobacco yesterday with his flight so he had to spend the night in I think Pennsylvania I'm pretty sure he was in Pennsylvania um, anyway um, you hear all that noise the power it's like look at this it's completely well it's a little cloudy but it hasn't been raining and no storming or anything and the power went out and it went out in a very large area from like our town all the way to like two or three towns over and my cousin lost power um, and she lives like I want to say four towns over so it's a really large area anyway that we just lost power so things are exciting today our dog is coming home our puppy's coming home for the first time oh here he comes
right, yeah. Yes, it has. It's been a long journey. Oh, good boy. Look at this. Hmm. Want to go pee? Want to go pee? I want to get tips. Wait, all, where? I don't want him to get tips. I mean, either. Is it, what, the, what is that? Is that a coyote poop? It's a coyote poop. Uh. It's over here. I'm going to swallow the grass. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Very much like you. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Oh my goodness, you are so adorable. Here, hold this. <laughs> hi. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so puppy. Uh huh. He's still got his puppy right? Alright, let's take him to go see. Over there. Somewhere.